In today's video, I will be sharing just a little peek of some things that were happening in my week. So I thought it would be fun to just take you along with me throughout this week and just kind of give you a little glimpse of what was happening. Now obviously I wasn't able to film everything that happened throughout this week because it would be way too much um, content. So I already had to put it into two different parts so this week's video is part one so make sure you are subscribed and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss part two. We are just starting off the week here, um, getting a cake baked. I had a cake to decorate um, the end of the week, so I just wanted to get this baked, um, get it, you know, everything ready to go, get this put in the freezer so that on decorating day, I wouldn't have to, you know, bake the cake and everything like that. Um, this helps out a lot, just cutting down on some time when I go to decorate. Um, so it's going to be a graduation cake for our um, own school here. And so I wanted to make it, you know, fairly big, um, so it'll be nice and tall and lots of cake for everyone. And then once I have that, you know, in the oven, everything is baking, I'm just gonna go ahead and just kind of clean up my mess here and yeah, try to keep ahead of the, the clutter here, put everything in the dishwasher and get everything cleaned up. We are also getting some overnight guests for the weekend. Um, so I didn't actually film um, from like Friday on. So this is like from Monday to Thursday ish. <laughs> but anyways, um, we have some guests coming. So I also wanted to just get these cakes, you know, made ahead of time and kind of try to do some things, get it out of the way so that not everything is last minute when the guests are about to come. Once the first round of cakes are done, um, I'm going to go ahead and get those out and then put the next round in. And then we're going to go ahead and pop these cakes out of the pans and just get them started cooling. And then I'm going to level them off, get them all nice and straight um, before I bag them up and put them in the freezer for a couple days. And this darker layer here is a Oreo layer. Um, there's Oreos in here. And at this point I kind of needed a little pick-me-up so I'm going to go ahead and mix up a greens shake. Um, these are really good and yeah they just kind of give you a boost and also give you your greens for the day. And then next we are going to be making some of my um, honey wheat bread. Uh, we needed some bread as well. I thought I might as well get this, you know, done so I can put the bread in the freezer for, you know, later on. We'll probably be using some bread um, once the guests come and stuff. So I thought we'll just get this out of the way. And if you haven't seen my bread um, tutorial, the video that I put out, I will try to link that one below for you. Um, super easy recipe to make and it always turns out really good for me.
now that our bread is baked, I'm going to go ahead and hang up this gallery wall that um, you've probably seen this one if you've seen the bedroom makeover. Um, but this was the day that I did it. Just put up this gallery wall. So trying to figure out where everything goes and then hanging everything up. And this was kind of the finishing touches that I put uh, in Jameson's bedroom makeover. Again, if you haven't seen that one, um, you'll probably enjoy that one. I will link that one for you as well. Now I found this little, little planter here that I wanted to just go ahead and plant a few like herbs and things. I thought this would be fun to have um, in the house or I might end up putting it out on the porch. Um, but I thought this would just be cute to try out and see if they survive in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and plant those and get those watered and see what happens. And for tonight for dinner we are having um, a like a ham bone with like it has leftover ham on it with some beans this is something that I very rarely make I've made it maybe a couple times since we've been married um, but it is kind of good um, every once in a while so I'm going to make some cornbread to go with it and we'll see how the family likes it And I don't know about you, but when I make cornbread, I like to put it in like the, the cupcake pan. Um, I don't know, I didn't think about it when I was making it this evening, or I probably would have. Um, it just makes it a little bit easier, you know, kind of proportioned wise, and you can bake it a little bit better to where the middle gets done a little bit, you know, better than in a big pan like this. But this worked out okay. And we're just going to keep on doing some baking here. I had some bananas that really needed to be used up. So I'm going to quick make some banana bread. Um, so this is what you see me doing here. Again, I have a video on, you know, how I make this bread. I have a recipe. I'll try to link everything down below if this is something that looks good to you. It's a nice way, you know, to use up those extra bananas or, you know, if your bananas are going bad to yeah get them used up and not waste them so we're going to mix this up really quick and i always you know put the extra in the freezer and it freezes really well you can just get it out and it thaws you know fairly quickly and slice it up and it tastes just like fresh And I like to use these little mini um, bread pans for this type of bread. You can use the big loaves um, as well. And if you want to, you can weigh these out, you know, to get them all, you know, the right size. I usually just kind of dump it in until it looks right. Um, but yeah, back when I used to sell this bread, I would always weigh it out so every loaf would be the same. So I'm just dividing it out into these loaf pans, then we're going to put it in the oven and bake it for 45 minutes.
All right, and once these are done, these are looking so good. Of course, we had to try one right away. And then I'll just put them out and let them cool off completely, like on a tea towel or something, before I put them in the freezer. Um, bag them up and put them in the freezer. All right, and that is where I'm going to leave you for today's video. Um, yeah, be sure to be subscribed and hit that notification bell so you don't miss the part two of my week. I will see you next week. Bye.